The EQE is the newest model to join the Mercedes-Benz electric portfolio. My name is Andy, and I'm meeting up with Jimmy, the EQE product manager, to go for a drive and try out some of the cutting edge features that set the EQE apart from the competition. Hey, Jimmy. Hey, Andy, great to see you. Yeah, you too, you How too. How you doing? Doing well, doing well. So EQE, newest member of Mercedes EQ. Walking up to it, it's a familiar design language. Yeah, the EQS and the EQE share a lot of the same design signatures that make it true to the Mercedes EQ family. So this like black panel grille that goes the whole way across, the one bow design language, as well as this cool hood that spans the whole way across without any seams at the top. So they look really similar. Overall dimensions though, it's almost 11 inches shorter about the same height. I think a great entrance to the Mercedes EQ family in the midsize segment. I mean, you mentioned with the hood being all one piece here, immediately it's one of the first things I noticed walking up to and I think just head on here. I mean, it really it really helps aerodynamically too, I would assume. Yeah, our engineers really fine tuned every aspect of the car to get the best aerodynamic value since aerodynamics are so important to range. So every aspect of the car fine tuned, seamless front end, the teardrop shape of the car, even the wheels have some aerodynamic elements to help make it extra slippery to slip through the wind. You mentioned the wheels too. I know these look a little bit different than the ones I've seen on the EQS. Mm -hmm. So the EQE has wheels from 19 inch up to 21 inch. These are our 19 inch AMG line wheels. And as you can see around them, they have this black accent that provides a little bit more wheel surface that helps make the wheel more aerodynamic. One of the, the bigger design changes, I think, too, is the headlights, a little mm -hmm. bit different than EQS. I see digital light here. What does that mean? Digital light is our most advanced headlight system that's available optional on the EQE. Each headlamp has 1.3 million pixels. Wow. So it's a really precise, outstanding lighting system that has active curve illumination, automatic high beams, and this unique daytime running light signature provides a little bit more of an aggressive look. Yeah, looks great. So I know Mercedes-Benz priding themselves on safety, comfort, all that kind of stuff. It doesn't stop with just the design. Obviously there's sensors and cameras everywhere around this car, but you can't really see them that well because of how well they're hidden. Where, where does the camera systems and assist uh, systems really start? The EQE comes standard with a lot of great safety systems, including blind spot assist, active lane keeping assist, and active brake assist. So some great features to help make the car safe just as standard. So starting at the front, which includes a radar here hidden behind the Mercedes-Benz star. Yep. And you can also see down here a little camera. So we have a couple other cameras surrounding the car that are used for driver assistance as well as our surround view system. So standard equipment on the EQE is our parking package with surround view system, which provides a 360 view around the car. And those cameras are also used for our Guard 360 parking damage detection system, which makes sure your car is safe when it's parked and captures pictures actually if damage is detected. Wow, where do these start up the side of the car? Yeah, so each of the mirrors has cameras on the sides of it. Those are used for the surround view system as well as for lane keeping assist. There's a stereo multi-purpose camera up here in the windshield that's used for the driver assistance suite. And then towards the back of the car, we also have a couple more sensors. Sure. So some of the features back here are kind of hidden. So we have some sensors behind the bumper but you can see some of them here, like the ultrasonic sensors used for the parking system. And I think another favorite is the rear view cameras actually hidden behind the Mercedes-Benz star. Yeah, I mean, it's obviously very, very innovative. I think, you know, being able to hide that so there's no rain, sludge, mud, whatever getting getting in the way of that, I think is a very, very good design. So I couldn't help but notice walking up the car here, this looks like a fuel door, but I don't think it is. Right? Yeah, so this is actually where you plug the EQE in. Oh, awesome. So I see one port there. Actually, the second port is covered. Is that for AC and DC charging? Yeah, so the top port is for AC charging. So you're at home, you're level two charging, and then hidden by this cover is your DC fast charging port. Gotcha, okay. What type of ease of charging can Mercedes-Benz EQE customers expect? We've made it really easy to charge your EQE with our service Mercedes Me Charge. All you have to do is sign up once on your mobile app and you have access to thousands of chargers across the US. With Mercedes Me Charge, everything is taken care of in one place. All your billing, access to charging, and we even provide an RFID card so you have access to the charging stations everywhere. Also with the EQE, we include two free years of access on the Electrify America network, which provides a nationwide DC fast charger network to recharge your EQE in 30 minutes or less. 
It's quite the perk. Yeah, when you're on your road trip, it's a quick stop to recharge, grab a coffee, and then you'll be on your way in a couple minutes. Sure. Now that we've talked about the outside, let's check out the inside. Awesome, let's do it. Well, first impressions, wow. It's uh, quite, quite the interior. I think big step on even from previous models. Very flow-like design here. Love the two-tone as well. How many different color options can you get? So this is our Neva Gray on the sky of blue interior. You can get black on sable brown, black on space gray, bunch of different options to pick from to customize your unique taste. Awesome, awesome. And I noticed I've seen this before, it looks familiar, but the fingerprint, what can that tailor to any individual's driving preferences? So each person in the EQE can have their own driver profile and you can log in with just a simple fingerprint. That calls up all your favorite settings, your seat positioning, your favorite climate settings, your radio settings, everything that you like about the car that you've set, all you have to do is tap your finger to authenticate and the car sets everything up for you. Perforations everywhere here too on the steering wheel, on the seats. Mm -hmm. Are these the AMG line seats or are these the standard seats in the EQE? Yeah, these are the seats that come with the AMG line interior. They feature this really cool single piece design that has a shell that goes all the way to the top. The AMG seats also have this cool perforation pattern that kind of resembles some raindrops going across the whole way down and on the seat as well. And there's also some ambient lighting that goes the whole way around the sides of the seat. Yeah, the ambient lighting is a nice touch for sure. I like that kind of flows with mm -hmm. the whole line coming across the interior of the car here. The ambient lighting not only looks cool, but it also has some safety features to it too when you have active ambient lighting. So for example, Blind Spot Assist works with the lighting to warn you of danger on that side if you start to merge over into the lane. Sure, and that just beeps at you, flashes red? or Flashes what red on the do? side, basically, yep. Oh, gotcha. So tell me a little bit about the main infotainment screen here. Sure, so we're looking at actually Zero Layer, which is our intelligent way to bring all the vehicle features to you at the forefront. So what MBUX does is it learns your habits over time. It learns what you do within MBUX and intelligently suggests those features to you. So the car brings the features that you want at the time you want it, rather than you having to go find it. So all these tiles down here would intelligently pop up with suggestions. So for example, if whenever I leave work, I always call someone, it would pop up with an intelligent suggestion to call that person for you. Gotcha. Well, cool, Jimmy, this has been great. I really appreciate it. Can we take it for a ride? Let's do it. QE, first impressions, I mean, very smooth driving. It's got that now classic electric power steering feel. Very easy to turn the wheel, turn in everything like that. It's a very nice car to drive. Excellent. And we're driving an EQE 350 today, which is a rear wheel drive, 288 horsepower version of the car. Also available will be a 350 4Matic with the same power. We'll have a 500 4Matic with over 400 horsepower and there'll also be an AMG variant with over 600 horsepower. For the spirited driver. Exactly. Yeah. Doesn't get old so far, the electric, the electric pickup. To think that this is the entry level in terms of power and performance, it's fun to drive. Yeah, that like instant electric torque gets you every time. You just pick up and go whenever you want. Sound. <laughs> uh, so I'm noticing too here with the regenerative braking slowing itself down a little more to help charging up those batteries I'm assuming mm -hmm. is what the car's doing right now? Of course, so the EQE has a few different levels of regenerative braking to help bring some of that energy back into the battery to increase your range. So all you have to do to change those is use the paddle shifters on the steering wheel so you can tap to toggle through or press and hold either one of them to get to the intelligent level. Didn't know that. Okay, so the pals, I was gonna say, with an electric car, obviously these aren't for changing gears. It's for something a little more different. Something that's new to me is this augmented reality navigation here. Never been in in any car that has anything like this. Um, the, I mean, just how it has the cameras up front showing you exactly what you're seeing mm -hmm. and where to turn, it's, it's a big help. It's one of those features that definitely kind of blows your mind a little bit when you first see it. So I pressed this EQ button mm -hmm. that I noticed a little bit ago and just can you tell me a little bit about all the different things that that EQ button does specifically for this EQE? Sure. So the EQ button down here in the center console brings up a couple of different options for you. So it allows you to change how much you want to charge your battery to. You also have a few options down here including eco charging 
Eco charging is for when you really don't need to get where you're going super quickly. It's kind of a comfort mode for the battery. It charges it a little bit slower, and by doing that, helps improve the battery health. You also have a few options in here to help you improve your range. So by tapping the range tab, we can restrict some of the car's functions to help get a couple more miles. So if we were really getting low and we really wanted to try to make sure we got to that charging station, we can turn off certain vehicle features or tap the maximize range button to turn on like a super eco mode, which makes the car really, really efficient. Yeah, it's incredible just seeing how smart these cars are these days and what this thing can really do to help you mm -hmm. not have to worry about this range at all. All right, mission accomplished. Mission, what, what, was the, what was the objective today? So this car is actually gonna be on display here at the Mercedes-Benz headquarters. Oh, okay, very cool. It was a fun drive today. It was, it was yeah. a lot of fun. Appreciate you telling me all about it. Of course, no problem. Last to drive. So, how am I getting home? <laughs>